turn off the reverb on my voice for a second. There we go. So uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you a couple things. Um, I don't know if you've been watching the news, but uh, you know, uh, I was right all these years. The aliens are here, and uh, um, you know, uh, I brought some special things. I wanted to just kind of give you guys a little uh, lesson on what to do when you know to find those aliens. The government released it. I don't know if you've noticed, but whenever there's you know strange crap going on in the uh, world, uh, we have aliens. Uh, Hang on one second. So the first thing you need is this. You need some of these uh, these special jingle bells. Because what happens is it sounds like they're transporters. You do that, and then you can attract them. And if you want some aliens for yourself, you take these things and you jingle them and you go out in the woods and you bring a mayonnaise jar with a lid with some holes poked in it and have some brown uh, masking tape around the sides because they don't like light. They have those big eyes. And so get a pair of tweezers and uh, or a little needle nose pliers or some of these. Some of these uh, surgical clamps, hemostats, you see those? And what you do is you take your binoculars, uh, you jingle the bells, and then the aliens will start to come up. And when you see them, uh, make sure you don't do this to your neighbors because they won't like it. You take the binoculars and you make sure they're adjusted for your eyes, and you turn them around backwards like this. And then you look through them, and all of a sudden the aliens will get smaller and they become very tiny. And then you can pick them up with the little uh, hemostat clamps. And then you can pick them up one by one and put them in the milk jar or in the, the little whatever jar you have with the uh, tape around it and the holes in it. And don't put more than three or four in at a time. And, uh, and then when you're all done, you can uh, bring them in the house and after a while you can train them and they can be your pets. So if you're interested in aliens, uh, take it. That's the voice of experience. That's how it works. Okay. That was the uh, educational part of our uh, show here. All right. Okay. Now we'll get on to the musical program. <laughs> sneeze here for a second because I just had my face in our cats. And uh, I want to say a special hello to uh, Micah and Desiree. Micah just uh, put up his Humphrey the Manatee site. You should check that out. I've seen a lot of friends, Rayford Stark and uh, Kim Jade Fry, and uh, um, just so many people uh, doing shows lately. Billy Davidson, I was watching his show today. Our friend Dan Byrne.
little warm up for you. Let's see who's on there. Alice and Kim and Kathy Gong. Wow, hi guys. Special formula from Susan. Abby, I mean. Special formula from uh, Twining. Tracy Widener, Cheryl Mellon, hi Cheryl, Susie Fader, I'm going to hug that girl later because we're in quarantine together. I'm going to tune my guitar for your safety. Remember what I said about the binoculars. So, you know, um, <laughs> it's really uh, 
there's a lot of love in this world and uh, if you look for it, it's there. I mean, you can see bad stuff too um, if you go on Facebook, I guess, um, when you're not listening to live music. Um, and uh, there's a lot of really great stuff out there too and um, you know, I feel very fortunate that I've been surrounded most of my life by people who are uh, pretty decent. And uh, I wrote this song for someone a while ago. I'm gonna try to sing it for you. I don't usually sing on my gigs, but. It's a true story, it's a, tr a song I wrote for someone for therapeutic reasons. sing us with Leslie or Leah. Now I'm gonna hug you with no hesitation. No ulterior motives and no big expectations. Just two people who've let down their guard. Shocker to shocker and heart to heart. And we can have love, love, love. Love, 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 we can have love, 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 love. Somebody hurt you once or twice before, but you don't have to close that door. You don't have to shy away. You don't ever have to be afraid. You can have love. Love, 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 you can have love, 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 love. And it don't matter what you've done before, everyone's got to move on with forgiveness. The time is now, breathe in the past. You got this moment and you are the best in love. Love, 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 love. You can have love, 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 love. It don't matter what you've done before. Everyone's got to move on with forgiveness. The time is now. Breathe in the past. We got this moment and we are the best in love. Love, love. Love, love, love. We can have love. Love, love. Love, love. I'm gonna hold you, no hesitations. 
No ulterior motives and no big expectations. Just two people have let down their guard. Chakra to chakra and heart to heart. The time is now, so don't hold back. Don't hold back. We got this moment and we are the best in love, love, love. Love, 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 we can have love, 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 love. I know you want to sing along. Let's do it. Love, 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 you can have love, 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 love. One more time. Love, 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 we can have love, 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 love. <laughs> well, it's been a while. We used to sing that one at the jam and uh, had a real good time with it. Um, Some songs make me cry. I was th thinking about a cover song that I was going to play the other day, and I realized that I wouldn't be able to make it through the song. So I didn't play it. I think, um, why don't we uh, get Nyan in here uh, to play a song. I told him I'd give him a song warning, but I'm not giving it to him. So I'll just, we'll just wait for him to get in here. And uh, um, he's been home for, uh, I don't know, probably uh, four weeks now. We quarantined him for the first two weeks because he came from Nashville. And uh, we were feeding him with sticks. And we could look at him with binoculars. Remember, if you missed our uh, infomercial in the beginning, you take some binoculars and you look through them backwards and you take your little tweezers and you pick up the aliens and you put them in your little, your little jar. You make sure there's holes in the top and make sure not a lot of light gets in because you know, Nyan can tell you, we've had aliens escape in the, in the studio before and they're hard to get because sometimes they get under the shelf and stuff. Yeah, it's hard to get them out, so. They're kind of shy in the beginning, but you can train them. I don't know. Let's see. Um, why don't we do Warm Wind first since it's one of Mom's favorites. We're going to do two of Mom's favorites tonight. I want to just, again, say uh, thanks, for, um, thanks to everybody who's been supporting all of the local musicians, all of the musicians worldwide who are just trying to keep entertaining you and trying to keep making a living. I have a PayPal link on there in the description if you want to tip us. I would feed him if you tipped us. You know, look at him, he's starving. No, he's not starving. Um, but I have to say, uh, there are a lot of people that are not doing well and, um, you know, it, it would be behoove you if you have uh, the means to, you know, search them out and figure out who they are. Um, uh, some of them are doing online shows. Some of them are just hanging out in the... Uh, food lines, you know, and um, I was raised in a service family. We've been doing charity work since I was, I don't know, 11 and probably before that, but I don't really remember. And it's one of the best things you can do. I mean, um, we never had a lot of dough, so we would just go volunteer and do things. And, uh, you know, it helps. I mean, sometimes y people need a hug. You can't give it to them these days, but you can call them up. You can uh, wave to them. You can buy them a roll of toilet paper whatever it is that they need, um, encourage them, uh, educate. If you're a teacher, get online, teach a free class, do something. And uh, it's, good for your own, um, it's good for your own head, too. A lot of people are going a little nuts because um, they they're kind of out of communication with their friends. And it's really good to, uh, if you're a good talker, you know, call some people up. 
look at the friends you haven't talked to in a while. Just, uh, you know, call them up, see how they're doing. Because some people won't reach out and they'll just go nuts in their own little world. So uh, I'm really lucky that we have five people quarantining with us. It's great. And uh, we're working on bicycles and starting a bike gang. And it's not much different than normal, actually, really, for us. But except we're not kissing random people as much as we used to. Which reminds me, I was going to change the words to that song today. But I didn't. <laughs>
Yeah. Warm wind. That was fun. <sighs> it sucks that you live in Nashville. I mean, it's great that you live in Nashville, but it sucks that you live there. Actually, Nine's got a good job. As a dad, I can't complain. Here's a song um, I wrote for my first album. Actually, I wrote it and recorded it on my first album I ever did as a solo. Actually, it's not true. It's the first album that I recorded that we ever released. And it was engineered by this amazing uh, musician person, lovely person named Robin Fear. If you know her, uh, check out her music. She's also a pretty hot shit web designer. And... Uh, yeah, um, very good friend. I think I met her through Lenore Troya back in down in Key West when I was dressed up like a girl. In a, I was in an all-girl band. I have to say I was the cutest one. <laughs> I don't know if I was or not. <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to put my fishnets on in time. But when, uh, when the bartender was hitting on Susie uh, at the bar, um, it was an all-girl event, so the girl was hitting on Susie and saying, uh, wow, you know, uh, you should come home with me. And she goes, oh, I'm with the guitar player in the band. And she looks up, oh, she's cute. Of course, I had long hair at the time. It was blowing in the wind, and there was color in it. <laughs> yeah. I was rocking my femininity at the time. Um. Okay.
That's fun. That's a fun song. That there's a fun song. <coughs> it's like a fun guy, but it's a fun song. Um, that song is called Vancouver Nights. Thanks, guys. Hey, uh, um, let's see. Okay, here's a song that Nine and I wrote together. Uh, how old were you? Nine? Ten? Nine was into skateboarding. So we had a title called it Street Light Skate, and it's on the uh, Serenade album. I think it's the first song that he played, the first album he played guitar on. We resurrected the song this afternoon. So we're going to try it.
Okay, Streetlight Skate, yeah. and it's funny because we were watching X Games today, and those guys are insane and nuts. Just wanted to make sure that your Hello? microphone was actually on this time, and it was. Let's here, but yeah, put that sax away that he taught. It makes sure you need to like keep it in your mouth while you're playing or drinking or whatever. All right, because we got some other songs for you. What time are we getting to? So guys, you know, um, you can uh, <coughs> share this with your friends on Facebook. It helps us, and if you don't already, if you haven't already followed and liked my page, you can do both. Um, it helps us, um, you know, sell music and stuff. So, in fact, any of the artists that you like, you know, follow them on Instagram, follow them on, which you can do with us too. Facebook uh, is a big one for, you know, geezers like me. Uh, younger people are probably more Instagram-centric, but, um, 
Facebook is really big. Just go to my musician page. It's at Limitless Guitar. It's the uh, little at sign. What's it called? Can I get that? No. What's the at sign called? Anyway, the little A with the circle. At Limitless Guitar, and you'll see uh, there's two fa there's two pages that say David Fader. The one that has my music on it, um, and the links to my website, which is davidfader.com or limitless the limitless guitar dot com. Um, you can um, or hillbillyflamenco.com, All those things are me. Uh, and nyanfader.com also goes to the same site currently. So, um, yeah, and, uh, you know, just by going to my page and, uh, you know, clicking on things, it really helps. By the way, all of my music is now currently free. Um, you can go on my site and download anything that's on there for free. I'm in the process of putting up tabs that people have requested, uh, written out music for some of my songs. It's a really labor-intensive uh, process, uh, so I've only got about four or five of them, but um, I'm going to be posting those all as PDFs, also free downloads, so. Luna? So we're going to do a song written for a dog that Nyan named. Okay. Okay, so remember, if somebody can text me back those exact instructions on what to do with aliens when you find them. We're talking about aliens from other worlds, not, not from Earth. If anybody can text me those exact directions, they'll win a, they'll win a prize. And don't forget, in behind me is the raffle guitar. Can you see it on the wall there? I think you can see it. That is the guitar is currently up to the bid is $1,375. We'd like to get at least three grand out of it. Um, that's the one of the things we um, normally auction at at Bay Jam, which was postponed indefinitely this year because of the uh, the quarantine situation. And um, so we're still raffling, we're still auctioning that guitar off. And send me a message if you want to bid on it. It's a it's a good guitar. It actually plays well. It's electric acoustic. It's got an original painting on it. Someday it will be worth probably exactly what you pay for it. Whatever that might be.
good. That was a good rehearsal. <laughs> that was awesome. God, that song's so much fun to play. They're all really fun to play, actually. Well, I'm glad you're home. It's a good thing. Mijo es un buen músico. Uh, how about, um, got a couple more. Do you, I hope you guys have time for a couple more. Let me see who's online here. Claire wants to know who the auction is for. The auction is for Isla Mirada Community Entertainment. We're auctioning off that guitar, and oh, what do you got? A tip jar? Oh, look, is there a lizard in there? No. Nope. Oh, look, our lovely spokesmodels are putting money in the tip jar. Woo! Look at that. You guys are awesome. These are the beautiful, well, two of the beautiful girls we're quarantining with, one of which I'm allowed to squeeze really Woo! inappropriately. Yay! Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, so you can tip us on, on the PayPal me link in the in the there is because our fan club in the um in the description, but you can also um bid on this guitar just by sending me a direct message or a text or call me up on the phone. Um I don't know what it's we're up to now because I haven't checked in a day or two, but we're hoping to get around three grand. If anybody wants to just bid three grand right now, they can have it. Um, because then I can start working on the next project. So Isla Mirada Community Entertainment is a company that I've been working for in some form of or other for 27 years, and we've given away uh, right around a million dollars to local kids, art and music scholarships, um, mostly kids that you know can't afford that kind of stuff, and also some adult musicians who are having hard times. Um, we did a lot of, of that kind of work. Uh, for years and also more intensely after Irma and things like that. But if you want to know what ICE does, get on the Isla Mirada Community Entertainment's website, which is keysice.com. But uh, if you uh, donate, or uh, you can donate there too, actually. But um, if you uh, want to um, help our auction, since we're not selling beer this year, you can also help some of our s um, sponsors and go buy beer at the uh, Florida Keys Brewing Company since they usually supply all our beer for free, and right now their, their place isn't open, so you can get to-go beer, and it's great beer, right? I have to take that information secondhand because I'm not a drinker. Thank you. 
That song is called Yo Creo, I Believe. Kind of a spiritual tune. I haven't been practicing my Spanish, so it's becoming mixed with French again. So it's, I guess it's Franglish, Spanish. It's really funny when I speak to my Spanish friends and half of it's French, French and Spanish and a few assorted Middle Eastern slang words in there too. Yalla. <laughs> Yalla, ven aquí. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's a, here's a nice. We got two more songs for you. Um, I hope you guys are hanging in there. Okay. Uh, this one's going to be Drowning in Soup.
That was Black Emerald. Remember, you attract the aliens this way. That's the noise you always hear before the aliens come. And then, so you shake this. So he's shaking that. I take the binoculars and I turn them around backwards and I take the very little tiny aliens one at a time and I pick them up and I put them in the jar. So remember, that's how it works. Okay. I'm going to test you on this later because you're going to need to know this because, you know, the government released all that now. We have official UFOs, weather balloons and such. I'm watching them. All right, we're going to play one more song for you. Hmm. <coughs> I have a theory about the dinosaur, about the brontosaurus. I'll play the sax part. Well, I'm a walk with my baby, got great big feet. She's a long little lanky with nothing to eat. She's my baby and love her all the same. When I'm crazy about my baby, count on you is her name. With my baby, got great big feet, she's a long little lagging with nothing to eat. She's my baby. I said that. Well, I'm crazy about my baby. Caledonia is her name. Caledonia, Caledonia. What makes your big head so hard? Rocks. I love you. I need you all the same. Well, I'm crazy about my baby. Caledonia is her name. Come on, tell us about it. Baby got great big feet, she's a long little lanky with nothing to eat, she's my baby. I love her all the same. Never give me off a baby, Caledonia is her name. Caledonia, Caledonia, what makes your big head so hard? I love you, I need you all the same. I'm crazy about my baby, Caledonia is her name. Caledonia, 
what makes your big head so hard? Rocks. I love you. I need you all the same. I'm crazy about my baby. Caledonia is her name. Wow, it's been a million years since you played that one too. That's great. Cal, I think there's another verse, isn't it? Thank you, baby. I don't know. There's probably another verse, but I don't remember it. Listen, guys, thank you so much for being with us. We had a bunch of people watching right now, or I don't know, 60 people. What is that? 55 double nickels. Can't drive 55. Listen, I want you all to. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you what to do. Uh, but it's hard to take somebody seriously when they have reverb in their voice. Um, so I'm going to take it out. And uh, hang on. Let's just uh, let's turn those off for a second. There we go. So um, we're going to try to keep bringing you these shows on Sunday. I am teaching guitar lessons again, so if you need guitar lessons or if you are a former student and need to you know, start again, let me know. I want to thank Nyan for uh, having a great sense of humor, playing with his old dad. And um, it's great because he actually remembers how I wrote the songs. I don't remember that anymore. He reminds me. And uh, uh, it's, it's really fun to play with a great musician. And... Uh, I want to uh, thank Dewey for being the engineer back in uh, his place. He's uh, doing remote engineering for us, switching the cameras and stuff, and uh, also helping out all the local musicians the way he does. I want you to check out, um, if you have time, you know, check out Micah, check out Billy Davidson, check out Rayford Stark, check out uh, uh, Kim Jade Fry, check out our friend Vicky Genfen, Ray, Ray Jaworski, I mean, uh, Steve Webb, everybody's doing stuff in town. Um, Jimmy Hawkins, Dan Byrne. I mean, these are all people that uh, you know they get their they get their joie de vivre from performing for you. And so, I mean, I try to do it uh, as much as I can. I am pretty busy fixing bicycles and stuff like that, but um, I do try to uh, spend some time doing that. Also. Uh, um if you uh, if you need anything and um, and we can help you with it, just let us know. Um, we're good neighbors in a quarantine safe way, and uh, I don't know what else to say. Just we love you all, and and we're very happy that everybody's being safe and snug. And wherever you are in the world, uh, I hope you're safe and uh, not going crazy. And uh, and that's it. Peace out.